You've heard it before, wine pairing with food. What is it? Is there any actual science to it? And why is it so important? Let me ask you this. Have you ever tried to have orange juice after brushing your teeth? Yeah. That's why we care about what we drink with what we eat. Let's get started. The first rule of wine pairing is that there are no rules, only suggestions. Every wine in the world pairs with an empty glass and someone that's gonna enjoy it. Even if it doesn't perfectly pair, as long as you're drinking a wine that you like and eating a food that you like and it's making you happy, that's all any of us are going for with this. Also, if you've ever heard any rules like white with white meat and white fish and red with red meat, it's kind of misleading and we'll get into that a little bit later. When pairing a wine, there are four important things to consider. Acid, tannin, body, and flavor. Acid is important because it brightens a dish the way a spritz of lemon would. It also cuts through creamy dishes and cleanses your palate between bites. Tannin gives wine a backbone that helps it power through rich fats, like those in a steak. So think of acid like a thin katana and tannin like Thor's hammer. Body is a combination of those two in addition to the alcohol of the wine. Think of a light-bodied wine like a Moscata that you could just sit back and chug on a summer's day, whereas a full-bodied wine would be something like a Napa Cabernet with a lot of tannins and backbone and you can feel that alcohol on your breath when you exhale. Flavors are obviously important because if you've ever eaten food, you know how seasoning works. You know not to go around drowning an angel food cake in barbecue sauce or serving filet mignon on a bed of watermelon. Or maybe you do do that and it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, if it makes you happy, you do you. The reason I said before that the whole like white with fish, red with meat thing is misleading is because there's a lot more to consider. Yes, a light fish like flounder will go nicely with a light white wine like Sauvignon Blanc, but a more heavy fish like tuna or salmon is gonna overwhelm that Sauvignon Blanc so it might be better off with a light red like a Pinot Noir. Similarly, a tannic red will go nicely with a grilled steak, but a cut like filet mignon served with a creamy bechamel sauce and some whipped potatoes could actually go really nicely with a full-bodied white like an oak chardonnay. It's not bad for a rule of thumb, but just make sure you're considering all aspects of the wine and all aspects of the food. When you consider the food pairing, there's two trains of thought like with like and contrast. Like with like would be something like a Burgundy Pinot Noir and a dish with mushrooms in it. Burgundy Pinot is a lighter body, so it's not gonna overwhelm the mushrooms, and both of them have kind of earthy, truffly, forest floor type flavors, so they're gonna go really well together. It's just one plus one. A contrast would be something more like German Gewürztraminer and a Thai chicken curry. It sounds insane, but hear me out. A Thai chicken curry would have something like coconut milk, some spices and a little heat to it, and sometimes tropical fruits like pineapple. Gewürztraminer has acid that's gonna cut through the creaminess, a little bit of residual sweetness and sugar that's gonna help quell the spice, and tropical fruit flavors that are gonna go nicely with the pineapple. Note that I'm considering not just the meat, but everything about the dish, including the sauce and all the sides. When you look at the whole thing, even though Germany and Thailand are on total opposite sides of the earth, they actually make a really awesome pairing. Wine can also be a form of seasoning. The way that a little bit of lemon juice on an oyster really makes it pop, a crisp acidic muscadet can also do the same thing. The way that fresh cracked black pepper will go nicely on a leg of lamb, a peppery Syrah will enhance it too. Those two pairings are also really great examples of what grows together, goes together. Basically, the agriculture in the area and the wine in the area generally pair really well. The region Muscadet is on the Atlantic coast of France, where they catch and eat a lot of shellfish, which happen to go amazingly with the crisp white wines they produce. In Australia, there are a ton of sheep ranches, and a nice leg of lamb will go awesome with their signature red grape, Shiraz, or Syrah. Of course, there are exceptions like everything else, but it's a really good place to start. You don't only have to think of wine pairings when you're out at a restaurant having a fancy dinner. For example, fries go really well with sparkling wines, because sparkling wines have acid and bubbles that are gonna help break up the fat. Or the other day, I had a Barbera de Montferrato that had flavors of like dark chocolate and coffee and a little bit of nuttiness from the age. In my freezer, I had Ben & Jerry's almond milk coffee caramel fudge ice cream. Although a little untraditional, it was actually a really good pairing. So don't feel like you have to go buy some special wine or special cheese. Play around with what you already have. A great book on all of this is What to Drink with What You Eat. It's basically a glossary where you can look up the food and it'll tell you wine and beer and sake and other beverage pairings that'll go well with it. It's great when you don't wanna to have to reason through the whole thing yourself. They're not like sponsoring me or anything, I just really like the book. <laughs> the very best pairings are when the wine makes the food taste better and the food makes the wine taste better. A wine that might be too aggressively tannic on its own gets toned down by a richer dish whereas a kind of bland dish gets kicked up with the acidity that it needs. Always try a pairing wine, food, wine. That way you're prepping your palate beforehand and cleansing it afterwards. 
If it works, you'll know it as soon as you try it. And if it doesn't, then it looks like you have an excuse to go get another bottle of wine that will pair. Now, I don't know about you, winos, but after all of that, I think it's time for dinner. Cheers.